Pro Tools supports track, bus, and I.O. widths up to 716 in Pro Tools Studio and 916 in Pro Tools Ultimate. Additionally, Pro Tools Studio supports up to 3rd order ambisonics, while in Pro Tools Ultimate, up to 7th order ambisonics widths are supported. When working in Atmos, audio is assigned as either an object, allowing free panning of that channel within an immersive environment, or to buses up to 712 wide. However, having wider track widths in fixed buses can be useful in several ways. This can make it easier to work with source recordings, premixed material, or monitoring returns from the renderer larger than previously possible. It can make mixing simpler, allowing you to work creatively with effects, including exciting new virtual instruments and widths larger or different than what the renderer directly supports. Though, when panning audio dynamically, objects are preferred as they allow the desired pan and other position parameters to be reproduced with the most spatial accuracy and clarity. Let's first look at getting these larger bus widths to the Dolby Atmos renderer. Sometimes you want to manage and route stems larger than Dolby 712 bed format. This requires either using multiple static objects or a bed bus plus object channels. The new extended bus widths allow you to manage these buses with an OGS or a folder track and easily route them to the renderer. To make this easier, the Pro Tools installer now includes variations of expanded width track presets. For these track presets to work most smoothly, ensure the Dolby Atmos renderer is in a default configuration. And in Pro Tools, with the Dolby Atmos renderer attached, set default using the Dolby Atmos renderer setting in the bus tab. Then import or drag and drop the width you want to work with into your session. These folders are combinations of an audio bed with objects or objects only pre-positioned within a folder in various sizes to achieve larger widths and different layouts than are directly available in the renderer. The folder type with buses and objects requires fewer objects to achieve larger widths, but also included are object-only variations so users can experiment and compare what works best for their material. Simply assign the output of any track to the end bus of your selected preset to mix within that width. While the existing bed framework is sufficient in many cases for channel-based mixing, the extended track widths add the flexibility to be able to direct audio to specific corners or positions in the ceiling. The larger width options are used like any other bus type and are available for audio, OGS, instrument and master track types. These can also be used with supported plugins and tracks and as sends from tracks to auxiliaries as would commonly be used for effects. This enables you access to reverbs and delays, for example, in larger widths without having to use multiple tracks or instances, and gives you the opportunity to try new tools like instruments that support these widths for more detailed height positioning. Once you assign a track or a send to a bus, the bus width will now be displayed at the bottom of the panner or send window. The new widths are also useful when monitoring or outputting larger widths from your I.O. When monitoring the renderer's output in Pro Tools in commonly used Atmos speaker configurations, such as 714 or 916, you can simply assign that to one bus or set of outputs that match that format rather than multiple tracks. The I.O. setup will also reflect the widths and channels will be labelled to make patching easier. These larger monitor returns can also be used with plugins for more advanced room emulation and headphone match binaural monitoring. The larger track widths are also helpful when routing larger size library renders back to Pro Tools from the Dolby Atmos renderer for monitoring or capture.